Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piro. In this video, we are going to discuss cardiovascular examination. There will be two parts of this video. In the first part, we will discuss how to carry out cardiovascular examination. In the second part, we will demonstrate cardiovascular examination. Given that your OSCEs will typically last between 3 to 5 minutes, it is better to practice this examination within the 3 minutes time frame so that you get acquainted with the timing. As in all clinical examinations, try to greet the patient. Obtain an informed consent from the patient, establish some form of rapport between you and the patient and assure the patient you will not cause any pain during the examination. Also, screen your patient appropriately and expose your patient appropriately. For cardiovascular examination, it is best that your patient is lying in the Fowler's position. The Fowler's position is also called the cardiac position and this is when the patient is nursed 45 degrees head up. Endeavor to use personal protective equipment during cardiovascular examination. Don't forget to stand by the right side of the patient. We start by giving the patient a general inspection, looking for respiratory distress and signs of body swelling. Next, we check the pulse of the patient. And here, we are assessing the rate of the pulse, the rhythm of the pulse, if it is regular or irregular. We are also assessing the volume of the pulse, low volume, normal volume or high volume. We'll also assess the synchronicity of the radial pulse with the contralateral radial pulse as well as with the carotid pulse and also the femoral pulse. Next, we check for arterial wall thickening. This is done in a peculiar way and it will be demonstrated in the second part of this video. Next, we look for locomotor brachialis. Locomotor brachialis is a sign of long-standing hypertension. It is usually seen in hypertensive patients and aged patients. Next, we assess the blood pressure of the patient. In an OSCE situation, however, you need to be fast and efficient in the process of assessing the blood pressure of the patient to save time. Next, we assess the jugular venous pressure of the patient. Ideally, it is done using a jugulometer. However, with two meter rules, you can be able to measure the jugular venous pressure of the patient. The next step is to examine the precordium of the patient. And here we are looking for precordial hyperactivity. Then we locate the apex bit of the patient. For non-diseased patients, the apex bit is located in the fifth intercostal space, left mid-clavicular line. This is usually below the nipple. Next, we palpate for thrills. Thrills are palpable moments, and we use the heel of our palm to palpate the pulmonary, the iliotic, the tricuspid, as well as the mitral area. We also palpate the parasternal areas for heaves. The next step is to auscultate the heart and we auscultate using the bell of the stethoscope as well as the diaphragm of the stethoscope. We auscultate the pulmonary, the aortic, the tricuspid as well as the mitral area. You round up cardiovascular examination by checking for a few other signs like pedal edema, central and peripheral cyanosis. We also examine the hand of the patient for splinter hemorrhages, finger clubbing as well as Wayne lesions or Oslas nodules. The next part of this video is going to demonstrate cardiovascular examination.